Congratulations for another hi. hi. Congratulations hi. for another season of uh, the Expanse, successful season. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, Dominique, from from the first four season, your character is taking a different trajectory completely. Could you talk more about that for season four? Um, yes. So season five. So going into season five, um, it's probably the most settled we've seen Naomi. Um, she's kind of with Holden, they've got their apartment, they're on typo, they're not being shot at from enemies and other ships. And then she makes the decision based on something that she um, asked Fred to do a while ago, asked him to find her son, to go and look for him because there is a bounty on Marco's head and she's worried that he'll get caught up in the crosshairs. So off she goes. Um, into the solar system on her own to do it and um, delving into her past in that way and to this very delicate and um, formative part of her life um, and also to a son that she has been absent from makes for a very compelling and traumatic and dramatic rich journey for Naomi this season. Um, and so y'all get to witness that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Keon, playing Marco this season looks like a lot of fun, especially the fact that you are the closest thing to a James Bond villain, revealing the entire plot and having a good, you know, the the hero hero that you're not going to kill, but you reveal everything to, to that person. Could you talk mm. more about that? Oh man, playing Marco definitely uh, resonates with the shit disturber in me. I would say that it's been so much fun to uh, be be so precise in your evaluation of someone's psyche that you know exactly the best way to fuck with them. That that to play as an actor is a dream dream come true because uh, as we'll see in season five, Marco is very di different depending on who he's with. Uh, you'll see them in many ways, and I can't wait for the viewers to sort of track uh, how he changes, how the mask shifts, and so uh, yeah, it's it's a dream come true to play someone so multidimensional and uh, and naughty. I would use the word naughty. <laughs> naughty is a good word. For, for both of you, the unifying character is Philippe, that's played what by Josai. Could you talk uh, talk about um, playing playing you know the parent parental role to Josai, and who's going to win Parent of the Year? Uh, <laughs> I don't think either of us think that's what's wonderful about this show is that there's never anyone who is. Uh, completely right or completely wrong or completely black completely white it's all gray um so yeah I mean Josiah has been a dream to work with I think the casting of him just simply in the way he looks that he looks like our son like I remember when I chemistry read with him and I was like this is my son this would be the person I would create if I had a child with Keon and so it was very fabulous for the imagination to just stand in a room with uh, Keon and Josiah and be like, this is my family. And so that for a start was amazing. And I, I did develop this very like maternal attachment to Josiah, um, which obviously was born out of my imagination, but then became quite real for me. And I just would pine after him. And it was like <laughs> my son, it was very weird, but um, very much was, was born of this situation and, and led to it making for quite rich scenes when we were playing Naomi and Philip. So it was quite a dream for the three of us, I think. I, I loved being part of this, this very nuclear family. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear is right. Well, hey, thank you for this conversation. I really appreciate it. And once again, congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to thank meet you. you. Bye.